Hi folks, I hope all of you are doing well during this time of lockdown and isolation. Um, my name is Sean O'Dowd and I wanted to just give you a little bit of background on myself. Um, I met my wife Chris at St. Rocha's Church in the Cambria City section of Johnstown and we've been married for 20 years. We have six children together, three boys and three girls. Cullen is our oldest, he is 17. McKenna and Aiden are our twins, they are 16. Shauna is 14, Brayden is 12, and Kyla is 10. You know, it's always been important to Chris and me for our kids to know that their faith needs to go beyond the four walls of the church, that their faith needs to go out into the community, into other people's lives in order to help lift them up, to make their life a little bit easier by just easing their burden in their lives. Um, and I know sometimes during the social distancing and keeping our distance from each other uh, is important, but it doesn't mean that we stop helping people. So we've been taking this time to actually help people by going out and doing various jobs for them. Some of the people that we've been helping are people like my mom. Um, she just recently got back from Florida and uh, some of the things that we've been doing around her house just to make her house look a little bit nicer uh, is that we built a retaining wall for her. We would also cut her grass and gas trim around the areas of her house and yard. Uh, we painted her living room. Uh, we also cut and burned brush around her house to make it look nice. We also planted flowers and spread mulch around my mom's house to make the, the flower bed look really nice. Uh, we also cut um, my, uh, my mom's neighbor's uh, grass, uh, Mr. Smith, who is 90 years old. Uh, it's so much easier whenever we have a, a couple of tractors going with uh, the kids sitting on the tractor and then I'm walking around with the gas trimmer just to make their houses look nice. Uh, we also painted the foundation of my Aunt Carol's house and her garage, which took a lot of paint but was well worth it. We also went down to my in-laws' um, place to, to help them with a few jobs around their house. Uh, Sandy and Larry Malik. Uh, so we went down to Grandma and Pap's house and uh, stained their outdoor pavilion and their swing set. Uh, we also spread mulch down there and we gas trimmed their hillside as well as cleaned off their uh, runoff area. It's also important for us to take time as a family to have fun. Um, one of the things that we do is we like to take a lot of walks and hikes with, uh, with the family and with the kids on different trails throughout the area and throughout our community. Uh, we've also taken many bike rides on the rails to trails pass throughout our area, um, extending from Altoona and going down into Myersdale into the Somerset County area. And we've been having a wonderful time doing that, enjoying each other's company while we go get some exercise. We have put several puzzles together uh, whenever it's rainy or snowy in, in, the, in the case of this spring. Um, and we also watch movies together as a family. Uh, one of our latest adventures that we've been doing uh, in order to get people together while maintaining social distancing is we actually uh, created a, a drive-in movie theater at our home. Uh, we would park cars in our backyard, shine a projector on a, on a sheet that's hung against the house, and watch movies together with fa uh, family and friends. And that's been a wonderful way to, to reconnect with people that we haven't seen in a while. But yet do something fun and still maintain our social distancing. So after everything is all said and done and we're done with our virtual school and we're done with our chores at the house, we still have uh, some time to come together as a family, as a musical family, uh, for a jam session in our backyard. And at the end of each day, we come together as a family to pray and we ask Jesus to allow other people to see his presence in our lives. And we raise our hand above the prayer bowl and ask Jesus to help these people who are in need of prayer. We just ask him to help restore their lives and the health of these people and make them whole again. So I actually love this time in our lives right now. We don't have the structured routine uh, with school. Uh, we're not running around at six different uh, athletic fields at the same time trying to get the kids to go to where they need to be going. Uh, and it's just a special time in our lives where we're able to reconnect with the kids uh, in the quietness of, of our lives right now. And I, and I actually enjoy that. I enjoy having the kids around. I enjoy being with them. I enjoy helping other people with them. So get out there, help out uh, other people, reconnect as a family, enjoy each other because life is going fast. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we love you, we miss you, and we hope to see you very soon. Take care, bye.